The City Rail Link will be the heart of Auckland's transport system, connecting the city centre to the rest of Auckland. Now trains heading into Britomart hit a dead end. By pushing through underground at Britomart and connecting the rail network, trains will be able to run both ways. This will double the number of trains that can run, delivering a train about every 5 to 10 minutes at peak for most stations, with two new underground stations near Aotea and Karangahapi Road and a redeveloped station at Mount Eden, travel will be faster with better access to more parts of the city centre and further afield. Taking a train from New Lynn to the new Aotea station will take only about 20 minutes. That's almost half an hour saved compared to now. This will mean the number of people within 30 minutes train travel of a city centre station will double, which is great for business and employment. There will be greater connectivity for the wider Auckland region too. For example, a trip from Otahuhu to K Road would be more direct, taking only 27 minutes. With Auckland's population growing by about 700,000 people in less than 30 years, public transport needs to become a reliable and effective transport choice. With the dead end at Britomart, rail can carry only 15,000 passengers an hour. With the CRL, rail can carry about 30,000 people an hour in peak. Compare that to a single motorway lane carrying just 2,400. More people on trains will free up roads for those who need them. The City Rail Link will also make it possible to expand the rail network to the North Shore via Wynyard Quarter and to the airport. The new City Rail Link the heart of Auckland's transport system. AT, connecting Aucklanders.